and you were there, and you were there, and who are you? And there's Toto going, you're stoned, man. You're just stoned. But see, there's people know who are even beyond marijuana. You know, the people who are going like, hey, is the show on? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? The Peruvian marching powder, the devil's dandruff. It's a nice thing, though. Cocaine. Mm, what a wonderful drug. Anything that makes you paranoid and impotent, give me more of that. <laughs> mm, what a great thing to do. Oh, we're back with sound again. <laughs> I got the sound. I got the sound from Hollywood. <laughs> I, people in the balcony were going, we understood him. I guess Juilliard helped for a brief moment. I could enunciate to the back row, just like Sylvester Stallone doing Hamlet. This would be a place where Stallone could do Hamlet. To be or what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, thanks. Jeez. We're back again. We were discussing cocaine for a brief moment. The sound crapped up, but that's why I'm using Sapaza sound. No one wants their tapes back. I wonder why. We're talking about how cocaine basically affects you. There's also something called freebasing. It's not free. It costs you your house. It should be called home basing. Here's a little warning sign if you have a cocaine problem. First of all, if you come home to your house, you have no furniture, and your cat's going, I'm out of here, prick. Warning. Number two. You have this dream where you're doing cocaine in your sleep and you can't fall asleep and you're doing cocaine in your sleep and you can't fall asleep and you wake up and you're doing cocaine. Bingo. <laughs> Number three. If on your tax form it says $50,000 for snacks, mayday. 